This is hard to talk about. I'm really happy right now. Happiest I've ever been in a long time, honestly. But it took going through some really dark times to get here, and I want to share some with you because if there's one thing I've learned in the last few years since I got out of the Navy and did the Scuttlebutt show, is that you have to be honest and open about what you're going through, good times and bad, because keeping that inside, that tears you up. Uh, I have to share these things kind of openly myself. If you watch the show, you know that, and that helps me find a lot of peace. I'm in Okinawa, Japan right now. It's really nice here. Actually, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I'm here because my wife is working out here, and I am a house husband now. For those of you who know me, it, uh, that might be hard to believe. Like I said, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. Uh, my wife, she's amazing, strongest, smartest, uh, hardest working, most compassionate person that I've ever known. I don't know how I got so lucky. But I struggled for a long time with some uh, really heavy stuff from bad childhood and not handling the stresses of deployment and probably should have done that differently. And uh, then just my perspective of the world got really skewed, and it was like that for a really long time. My problem has always been excess. Not always a problem, it's been good too. Like if I do something good, I do that to excess, and if I do something bad, I do that to excess too. Like go to the gym, in the military, my job, side jobs, partying, drinking, eating, whatever it is, I'm always like, what's the most, the biggest, toughest, what's the record, you know, whatever, always pushing everything to the limit. But when you do that, that candle burns out quick, and that's what I started to realize. Like in the past, my filmmaking, I started three companies and then went, you know, changed them and searched the next thing. And it's always like the next thing, that's going to be the thing, you know? It's right around the corner, it's in the mail, uh, it's starting next week, but that's not the case. Right now, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, that's the thing. That's the only thing that counts, and that's kind of what I'm learning now. Live in a moment and make that moment about moving your life forward. Moving things forward is what it's all about. And that's what I'm doing now. The Scuttlebutt Show, I loved it. I miss it. I miss doing the episodes in San Diego. I really do. That's another thing that I went to excess over. I mean, first episode we ever did, 45 minutes after I had the idea, or live on the radio. I'm like, what am I doing here? How, did, how do I keep any up in these situations with, you know, bands and comedy and a radio show in front of people, and those people are giving me their attention, you know? The Scuttlebutt Show was the thing that probably meant the most to me out of all those things, and it means so much to me now when I get an email or a text or something uh, out there from someone talking about how they heard it, and it meant something to them, they got some value out of it, made a connection between two people. I, you know, I missed that, but there was missteps there too. And this is the really honest part. Here's the hardest part. This part is for me, for the people who know me well, who care about me. If you don't know me well, and you knew me in the last 10, 12 years, you might really like me or hate me. If you hate me, I probably deserve it. But if you're someone close to me who's really cared about me over these last uh, 10, 12 years, then I can for sure say without a doubt that I've let you down. I've disappointed you. I've told you I'd be somewhere and then I wasn't. I made a promise I didn't keep. Wasn't a good teammate. Many times not a good partner. And uh, I'm so sorry. For, for now, now, as most of you know, I'm gone. I moved away and I'm never going to be able to make it up to you. There's no way around it. That's just messed up. I'm sorry. And I'll, I'm also grateful because there's so many people out there who showed me so much love over such a long time. I do promise that I'm doing better now, and if there's a way I can make it up to you, I'm doing my best, and I'm sorry I wasn't there for you for so long. It's hard to share this stuff openly and honestly, but if any of this sounds like something that's going on in your life, consider sharing it. Sharing it with someone that's close to you, uh, maybe a relative or a coworker or a mentor, or, you know, share it with me. There's a lot more to this story. Uh, there's a lot more things that happened in those years that I want to share and I want to talk about. Uh, and this video is a beginning, not an end to a story. If, uh, if anyone's going through something, uh, you want to reach out, I'll respond. Uh, promise one more thing, whatever it is, you're not the only person going through it. I know it feels that way many times, but it's, uh, it's not the case. Bad things happen in lives, uh, and people will empathize and understand that. So please just share, uh, share whatever it is you're going through. Don't keep it to yourself. Don't keep it inside. Uh, that's it for now. There's a lot more to come, a lot more talk about what's going on with the, what happened with the Scuttlebutt show, what's going on with it. Um, I'd like to, a lot of people ask you where I've been and if, if that's coming back, uh, when new episodes are coming or whatever. Um, I think it's going to change, uh, what it, what it was and what it is, but I'd like to, uh, kind of open up with you guys about why it kind of disappeared in the first place, what my idea for it going forward is in the future, if that's something of interest to you. And I, and I, you know, I wouldn't have thought it would be, but I get so many uh, people kind of encouraging me to start it up again, that I think I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm out here in Okinawa, so there's uh, a different audience, or there's a different uh, amount of people to, to talk to out here, but still a lot of interesting, uh, definitely interesting veterans out here, I'll tell you that. Uh, a lot of people stayed after they got out of the military, and are uh, expats basically living in Okinawa. Um, yeah, I, you know, that's it. I, um, I want to say thank you to people who've given me 
all of these chances and opportunities. Uh, and I know some of you out there probably feel like I've let you down. Um, that's, that was never my intention. Uh, it's never what I wanted. It just, when I was going through kind of a, a tough time in my life, uh, it, it came out as me abandoning a lot of things. Um, a lot of people who cared about me and gave me a lot of chances, like I was saying. Uh, so this video is kind of an, an open public apology uh, while I try to personally make things right with different people. And I hope that you, uh, you know, you don't have to forgive me, um, but I hope that you understand that it wasn't because I don't care. It wasn't because I wanted to do anything bad to anybody. It was it was because uh, I was going through some things myself. Um, but again, I want to emphasize I'm doing, uh, doing good now out here in Okinawa. It's really good. I'm really happy. I've got a family of my own, uh, a wife, a dog. Um, which is, is crazy to think about. Uh, looking back on my life, I would not have pegged my, that for myself ever. Uh, but it's great. It's really awesome uh, trying to get things going out here professionally. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, that's it. I want to say thank you to everybody. If you've been wondering what's up with the Scuttlebutt Show, uh, more about that coming soon. And thanks for keeping up with me and checking in on me every once in a while, uh, some of you guys out there. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.